Alrighty, we're doing another one of these five minute rebuilds. If you guys missed it last time, basically what happens is before we start the season, we have five minutes to do any roster moves, trades, free agents, whatever it is, and that is it. We can't do any draft picks. We don't do any like mid-season trades at all. It is just that five minutes and that is it. It is a one season rebuild to try to do the best that we can. So, if you guys want to see more of these 5-minute rebuilds, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. You guys know the deal. And in the comment section, let me know what future rebuilds you want to see or what future teams you want to see for these 5-minute rebuilds. I'm really enjoying them. Um, if you guys missed the last one, it was the Detroit Tigers. I'll put it up here in the top right-hand corner. And I think that's it. Let's get into it. This is going to be a good one. San Diego Padres, Tatis, Machado. Let's do this. Alrighty, just so you guys know, um, budgets are on, forced trades are off, so we can't do any, you know, forced trades things. We're gonna turn everything to manual so that CPU doesn't make any mid-season changes to the roster. And, man, so the five minutes doesn't start until we make the first move. So let's take a look, see how we're doing with the squad. Luis Urias, unfortunately, if this was like a two, three, four season rebuild, I would love to keep him. But for like this one off, this one year, he's just not good enough. Same with Manuel Margot. Machado's good. Renfro's good. Hosmer might trade him. Will Myers maybe move him to first. And then we have Hosmer out the door. Josh Naylor is definitely not good enough. Do we have anybody in the farm system that could be a bench bat? Maybe Franchi Cordero. Okay. Uh, Tatis, definitely keeping him as part of the squad. And Austin Hedges. I know we got Francisco Mejia, but he's not that much better. We may look for a new catcher. So... We definitely need a second baseman, center fielder, and then a right fielder because we're probably going to trade Eric Hosmer. So, pitching-wise, I know we have Garrett Richards, um, but he's been hit or miss for me lately in rebuilds. Um, outside of that, Erlin's good, Strom's good, Warren's okay, Munoz not yet ready. Maybe move uh, stock up. We'll see. Stammen's good. I definitely want to get rid of Carl Edwards Jr. He's too, too random to try to rely on a one-season rebuild. And Kirby Yates is solid. Paddock's good. Lucchese's good. Morejon's not good enough. All right. So basically, we need a 3-4-5 for pitchers and then a long reliever and some bullpen help. So this is going to be tough. So let's see what we can do. Um, let's try to find maybe a new starting pitcher first. And then once that first... That first trade is done. We're hopping right into it. I got my five minute timer handy here. I'll probably put one here or somewhere in the somewhere on screen to keep you guys up to date with how much time's left. Let's try. Let's try for like a like a Degrom. Can we get a Degrom? Ah, that doesn't look like we're too far off. And then maybe like a Margot. And then we throw in Hosmer to make the deal go through. Ooh, maybe do they have? a bullpen arm that would work for us maybe an avalon he's been he's kind of hit or miss too but i'll take it all right i think we found our first trade jacob de gram is a pitcher i think that's the move so the timer is going to start in three two one go all right so timer has started that's our first trade all right we got to keep going five minutes is not a lot of time let's see if we can find another trade here i mean this is gonna be tough i'm just kind of all right so we have our one two pitchers lucchese was good let's see if we can find somebody else maybe like a i don't know man this is this is it's a lot of stress <laughs> essentially what it comes down to um definitely want to make sure my, my screen doesn't lock up and i can't find it maybe a bum garner that's a lot of is that maybe we can sneak this through with the cal quantrill Ooh. okay 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 it's a lot of prospects being traded, but all right, I think we sorted out our pitching staff for the most part. One, two, three, four. We just need one more. Maybe we just do those two and we just try to find like a, a decent little arm that might, you know, just get us through the get us through the year um, as a four or five. I'm definitely looking for someone that's a little easy to acquire and we've already lost a whole minute. And we haven't even moved on to the lineup yet. And I think that's one that's going to be the toughest part of the squad. So, ooh, um, I'm just like looking through all these. Oh, I know. Um, where's the Rangers? Maybe a Mike Miner. And we have, ooh, and they have, we got a little extra left over. Um, I know we got a low rated bullpen arm down here, like Aaron Loop. Oh, there we go. There's our pitching staff sorted. Boom, 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 boom. 
yeah i like that i like that a lot okay so bullpen i don't like cj or carl edwards jr he just he's just too random you can either do really good or really bad so i want to find someone i can trust maybe like an adam simber i think that might be a move kelvin herrera yeah i gotta watch out for the budget too we're already down to almost three minutes all right so you know what let's go let's go adam simber and i think that's we'll just go straight swap for those two and boom boom let's i feel like we definitely need to go a little bit more into the 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 bullpen but let's get this let's get this squad sorted out so we need a new center fielder who is a good hitting center fielder i don't want to get george springer we've used him before maybe a almora jr Ooh, that's a good trade that's a good leadoff hitter for us renfro and left um we got Meyer at uh, Myers at first. So let's get a new second baseman because I said Luis Urias would not be good enough yet. And we still need to find a new right fielder or even just a first baseman. Um, Oh, man. Almost two minutes left. Jesus. Ooh, Glaber Torres would be a good one. Do we have a pitching prospect that we could get this deal through? Would this B1 do it? It does. Oh, we got Glaber Torres. Now let's get that right fielder. Um, how are we going to get this right fielder? I don't think it's going to be a good right fielder, but it's going to be an okay right fielder. We got two minutes left. I mean, like a Max Kepler wouldn't be bad. Um, what else is available? Maybe a Mitch Hanniger. Ooh, we're a little bit off on that one. Um, come on. We got it. There's got to be someone available who's not going to be too difficult to acquire. Um, um, maybe a Philip Irving. Oh man, I'm almost down to a minute. Oh, we are down to a minute 30. Oh, we're running out of time here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We've got to be someone available. All right, so let's just go with like a, okay. Mm, yeah, let's go with like, who did I say? Like a Philip Irving. It's a, it's, a, it's a guy who's not amazing, but we could definitely make the trade go through with like Hudson Pot, maybe CJ Abrams. No, get rid of Hudson Potts. I only got like a minute left. We got to hurry up. Ooh, that actually makes it a little bit better. We could get someone a little bit higher rated. Maybe like a Nick Castellanos, who's a good pickup. Budget. Oh, no. Can we get Conforto? We can't. Um, maybe if we get rid of one of these center field prospects and then add... Uh, who are we going to add? Ian Kinsler. I don't really want Ian Kinsler. And then let's get... Can we get Castellanos now? No. What about Conforto? Oh, they, they'll take Conforto. Can we... All right, let's do that. I got 40 seconds left to try to find at least... One more bullpen arm. Let's throw let's throw Baez and Diaz together. Let's try to find a bullpen arm really fast. 35 seconds. No way. Um, Blake Trinan. Okay, we're not going to get Blake Trinan. Um, we're, we're good on lefties, so I'm trying to stay away from lefties. I got 20 seconds. Dylan Batances isn't going to work. Um, John Brebbia. We're close. We're close. I got 10 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Uh... Oh no, Brad Wick's stuck on it. What do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Um, nine, eight, seven. Espinoza. All right, we got John Brebian. I think that should do it. Two, one. That's it. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna make sure my 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 timer doesn't go off. That's the time. Whew. All right. So what I'm gonna do is, you guys can see the lineup here. Um, I'm not gonna bring anybody up. Um, I'm just gonna set the lineup. You guys can see who's here, who's who's here so i'm not going to change anybody up if anything i'm going to send anybody i'm going to send some players down and that's the that's that's the roster no new additions no one's getting called up like i said they're only going to be sent down so no no new names being added to the squad so we're going to leave it here i'm going to get the lineup all sorted and ready for the season Whew. it was uh that, that was cutting it close all right so our weak link is definitely our bench uh like <laughs> I, tr I completely forgot i wanted to bring up franchi cordero or even travis jankowski um we just ran out of time I, I, I tried too many trades i tried too many different changes um and it's uh it, it's it's gonna be difficult i feel like the team looks good uh, i just don't know actually it looks it looks pretty solid i mean glaber torres machado tatis jr Conforto is usually a little bit of a glitch in franchise. We got DeGrom, Bumgarner, Miner, Paddock, Lucchese, Strong. I mean, this is a solid team. I'm pretty happy with the way the team went. We sent down Lauer. We sent down Munoz. 
and I think that was it. And then we didn't really send anybody down for the minors uh, for the lineup. So whew, that was an a t intense five minutes, man. We really cut it close. Literally came down to the last second. And I'm I'm pretty excited about this Padres team that we we set up. So let's see how it plays out. Let's sim through the season, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year. So I remembered the Dodgers were in our division. And I kind of had a feeling we were going to be a postseason team just as a wild card team. And that's what happened. So 94 and 68, which is not a bad year at all. And we're taking on the Nationals in the wild card game. Looks like we got an award rookie of the year for Tatis. And we got a gold glove for Manny Machado. I mean, we, we finished three games out. And it sucks because throughout the year, I was watching it and like, this was the only series we won against the Dodgers right here at the end. And I feel like if we could have just snuck one more series against them, we would have we would have taken the, the division. I mean, it was a three game difference between us and the Dodgers. And if we could have just snuck a couple games against them throughout the season, um, we would have done fine. I mean, because like, look right here, we, we lost this this series here. We got a four game sweep up here. So, I mean, we were this close. We just needed that that extra win so let's take a look um i'm hoping everything remained the same it did luckily um sometimes the cpu just likes to change things unfortunately um so degrom an amazing year he was a great pickup i feel like he was a huge piece um same with madison bumgarner i feel like we have a really solid pitching staff and maybe it was the uh the um offense that was a little quiet at times paddock yikes um and it looks like joey lucchese did well so clearly paddock was our our five starter and our first three were really, really solid. Um, Strom is, is okay. Okay. I mean, the whip's high. ERA is a little high. Um, Brebia did very well. Good ERA. Low whip. Perfect. Simber as well. That was that. Those are two good pickups there. Warren, not too bad. I really wasn't expecting much from him. Avalon, I was a little unsure about. And um, it kind of backfired. Craig Stammen, not too good. I was kind of hoping he would have held at least a high 70s rating and a good era he normally does um this is probably the worst i've ever seen him perform in my most like throughout my last like four or five rebuilds erlin did pretty well i'm gonna take stamina out of this um setup role and i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go to simber there and then kirby yates was pretty pretty solid only four blown saves throughout the year so let's go take a look at the offense um almora was a solid leadoff hitter 325 on base percentages it was, it's it's respectable 50 doubles 50 doubles are you serious glaber torres hit 257 um a little bit of a quiet year for glaber torres i'm used to seeing like almost 30 home runs high 200 average um, manny machado hit 41 bombs with almost 100 rbis that's good to see um renfro did very well 300 average 356 on base percentage 85 rbis 31 home runs 36 doubles Ooh, that's nice michael conforto too 30 doubles almost 40 home runs almost 90 rbis i like that will myers not too bad okay i'm cool with that i wasn't sure if he was going to do well did pretty well josh naylor 250 average i'll take that for a guy who was rated 63 at the beginning of the season tatis very good probably should have him a little bit higher in the lineup um i just wasn't sure with his vision and stuff how he would do but 28 home runs 28 doubles 76 rbis and almost a 300 average oof that's nice and austin hedges not too bad so i'm actually gonna move tatis up to where, where mel myers is um i feel like with what we have for a sim style franchise um i have it in the right spot and lineups and stuff like that so if it was real life definitely want tatis higher in the lineup but for a sim style franchise we're gonna leave it like that so going against the nationals we're gonna have a good a good opponent we're gonna have a good matchup we are the home team petco park Let's see how this goes. We got a good pitcher. What is it going to be? Scherzer versus Grom. So looking at their lineup, it looks the exact same. Nothing's changed. Um, I feel like we do have the better lineup. So let's just score early. Let's score often. Let's not allow them to score first. One nothing lead. Is this going to be a thing where like our our offense just completely falls apart and just doesn't exist this game? Because that would suck. I mean, I don't feel like Degrom's gonna get destroyed. I have a feeling like it's only gonna be like a three or four walk, three or four hit game for our opponents. But we only have two hits. That's not good. What is going on here? There we go, Elmora. That's what I'm talking about. Tie ball game. 
DeGrom's pitching well. Scherzer's pitching well. This is a this is a battle. This is a pitching battle. Two runs score and DeGrom. Oh man, I was I, you know I had faith in him to get us out of the inning. And we're, I mean facing Scherzer is gonna be tough too. So we're down to our last three outs. Can Machado do it? No. Renfro. Conforto. And that's our season. Man. Like, I understand. I got a little greedy with DeGrom, but they only had four hits the entire game. And we only had three hits. And we had... We're, we were clearly the better team. Um, I do want to see... So, Glaber Torres didn't get a hit. Machado only got one hit. Renfro didn't get a hit. Conforto didn't get a hit. Tatis didn't get a hit. Like... The heart of our lineup, the like the most dangerous part of our lineup didn't get a hit. Actually. Oh man, that's bad. Like. So one hit there and two hit no. Yeah, two hits here. So four through nine didn't get a single or four through eight basically because we would have been rocking this lineup. So Four through eight didn't get a hit that entire game. That's just, that's not good enough. Man, and I felt like we got that team. We got a good team here. We would have been playing the Cubs. I've, we're going to make it past this wild card. We're going to make it to the NLCS or the ALCS. We're going to make a World Series in one of these five-minute rebuilds. I definitely can feel it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you hit the like button down below. Man, I thought we had a squad here, man. I thought we put something together. I mean, look at it. It's... Well, just we got a decent squad i'd be cool with this squad in the future for sure but unfortunately we didn't make it past the wild card sucks um i mean even when you look at like look at that pitching rotation that is that is so good oh well oh well well i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content i'll catch you on the next video peace